Hey everyone, I'm back again. Tragic the Garnering here with part six of the box from West Virginia. And this is the second Ziploc bag of loose cards that was in this box. And I am excited to get into this because last bag I found a Lion's Eye Diamond. Very good card. And even though this one is not in great shape, it's about MPHP. Um, I do feel like I'm going to get a little bit for it. Maybe not quite that much. 265 bucks. Probably more like 150 or so. But I am going to give it a try. And just the fact that I got it is exciting. So. Here is bag number two, and let's see if we can find something even half as good as that in this bag. We did pull out of the first bag a lot of, um, well, a lot of commons and stuff, but also a lot of like Mirage rares that um, to someone must have not obviously been rares so they left them in so I think this may have been sorted at one point and didn't pick out some of the older set stuff and so some of those good things are left behind um, so I'm going off my focus there can we focus on this I don't know we'll see so that set there not a biggie here we go. Searching through some plane shift stuff. Got some bent up cards there. And uh, not sure what we're going to find. Um, hopefully, my Delver lens is going to be playing ball today so I can spot check some prices when I think I need to. Uh, none of this stuff do I think I need to. So Okay, so Suleiman's Legacy. Pretty sure that's a rare from Visions. Yeah, I think it actually is a reserve list card. I will have to check that later. Uh, let's check some of this stuff. That is an uncommon Phyrexian Marauder. That one is a rare. And it's okay. So we'll take it. See, Femerif Enchantress, we found some of those in the other box. $4.99. So if this had been picked, they took all the invasion rares and the plane shift rares, but they left behind the visions and the mirage. Could there be another Lion's Eye Diamond in here? I'm not even going to hope for that. But if there is one, I'll be pleasantly surprised and happy so here we go uh, let's see I don't think those are any good apocalypse chime from homelands I believe it is a rare it is I think also a reserve list but it's not a big one we've seen some Jovens tools before I don't think those are anything big bunch of plane shift stuff where is the focus on this thing? May have to upgrade this camera at some point. Let's see. In this bag, there are a few top loaders coming up here, so that's kind of interesting. That usually means good stuff. Warwind Commons. Nothing jumping out at me here. Alright, that's okay. Uh, now we do have some some good stuff here. Hey, check it out. Kasali Pride Mage, Birds of Paradise, these are foils, and some Bane Slayer Angels. Um, taped up and packed like they had been purchased online. How many of these are in here? 
There's more than one. Let's see if I can get him out without ruining him. Oh, that's really interesting. A Kasali Pride Mage. Good common. Buck 43. And a Mystical Tutor from Mirage. I would have expected a duplicate Pride Mage. That's great. So, oh, this one's a little beat up. Yeah, so it's got like a little wrinkle on it. So it's like some LPMP. Got a little problem there. That's all right. Got a Birds of Paradise here. An M10 foil. Let's see. It's not fully taped shut. Let's see. Can I get it out of there easily? There's more than one card there. There. Luckily it was sleeved in there. Oh wow, that's interesting. So, I'm trying not to ruin these when I pick them up. Okay, so f this, this is mint. Foil Birds of Paradise from M10. Switch that to foil, $13, all right. Put that back in the sleeve. Uh, get in the sleeve, there we go. And a foil master of Ethereum. Catch some light here. Yeah, there you go, it's a foil, right? Let's see how that shapes up. It's a foil. 794. Not too bad, right? Get a sleeve for that too. So that's interesting. I would have expected to see duplicates of the same card in a in a uh, top loader like this. So what's gonna be in a package of Bane Slayer Angel on the top? I would expect more Bane Slayer Angels, but I don't know, it's not even in the top loader. Wow, yeah, okay, so there's a Bane Slayer Angel. $8. A Dark Steel Reactor. Oh, very nice. Four fifty. A defense of the heart. And a foil mold drifter and a Garrick wild speaker. A couple of alternate versions. So defense of the heart. Seventeen ninety nine. Excellent work there. Uh, this mold drifter promo. Let's see if it'll recognize it. It says it's $15.99 as a promo. I'll take it. And this Garrick or Garuk? How do you say that? Ten bucks. Uh yeah, like in this bag also. And there's still plenty left in there. Stuff like this. So grab the next stack. That looked like it was probably it for these top loader cards. We'll just see what else do we get here. Jangling Automaton, Jabari's Banner, Mindstones, those are a little bit. Let's check these, some Weatherlight cards. Not a rare. That's an uncommon. And Miraxis, I don't think is anything. Another Mindstone. Popper's Cage, that's a reserve list card. I think uh, Razor Pendulum also is. Yeah, this one's seen a spike. I'd, I think I specced on those when they were under a dollar, so I've got a few of those around. Razor Pendulum, is that a rare? It is. Not one that's taken off yet. Silver Dragon. We're back to some Plane Shift stuff. Some comments here. This... Uh, collection has been kind of all over the place they're just mixed together so you got a bunch of commons from sets where you can see if the set icon is a rare or not and then you got rares
from sets that you can't. So someone was not able to pick this properly. Wall of Kelp. Something that's seen a bit of an increase recently. <laughs> yeah, last week that would have been a 20 cent card if that. This humpy musher. That's cool. Yeah, we're doing it here. Let's see. Let's flip this over. Well of Life. Wow, I got, that one's got some serious problems. Got stuck to something and then ripped off of it. See if it can recognize it. Just an uncommon. We've seen stuff like this before in other videos where it's really nothing big. So we scoot right by it. Some vision stuff. Alliances, Tempest, Unstable Shapeshifter, let's check that one. It is a rare. Chronicles, Voodoo Doll, and Triassic Egg, and Johan. I don't think those are going to be worth anything. Clock spinning, is this a common that's worth pulling out? Not really. Ancient Grudge, same question. Not really as well. Giant Oyster and a Narwhal. So I think that's a rare. And it's gone up a little bit over time here. So pull those. Taniwa and a Revica. Taniwa is a rare. And Revica also a rare. Okay. And there's another Revica. A vaporous gin from Mirage. Let's just check it. Nope, that's an uncommon. Sometimes you can tell because there's a bunch of them in a row. So there's a Tower of Coreal from the Dark. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that card. It's a rare from the Dark. Probably not a reserve list since it's only 28 cents. Hasn't seen any kind of action. Stronghold, a couple of portcullis. Again, the rares, but nothing big. Chaos Lace is a rare. Was Thanos' weaponry a rare? No. No. And then a Chaos Lace. Rare revised, except it's a fourth edition. Technically a rare, I guess I'll pull it. Definitely not any good. Plane shift stuff. A lot of commons. A lot of these are a little bit played. So they've been kicking around in boxes for a long time, looks like. Nope, oh, okay. Next stack. There's definitely like well over a thousand cards that were in this box. Clockwork Beast. So this, I believe, is a rare from Revised. Uh, let's switch the edition here. Revised edition. 33 cents. Um, and then let's see, there's a fourth edition one as well, right? Keeps thinking it's some kind of promo. Fourth edition rare. Sure. Okay. Got 
Watch those notifications. Triskelion and Tetravis. Let's see how they rares. Well, it's not an antiquities Triskelion, right? It's a uh, fourth edition. Big difference. Tetravis. Let's see what it thinks about that. Yeah, fourth edition Tetravis. Technically a rare. Yeah, there's a living wall. Let's check this one. Revised edition. It's not an alpha. Come on. Revised. It is an uncommon. So we'll put it over there. Pretty much just interested in rares. Portent. Alright, so what is this set symbol? It's the Ice Age, but it's like the newer version. So, Cold Snap theme decks, is that what it is? It does not come with a price, but it's probably not much because it's like uncommon. Glasses of Urza. I can never remember. It's probably a re uncommon, right? Yeah, so it's like a fourth edition uncommon now. We will not be pulling those. Diamond Kaleidoscope. I don't think is anything big from Visions. It is a rare. We'll pull it. Felwar Stone. From fourth edition. Eh, it just barely makes the grade. It's like it doesn't count towards my total because it's only 89 cents. But I would try to buy list that. Alright, Despotic Scepter is a rare. Pull a couple of those. Magus of the Unseen. What's going on with her? It is a rare and for some reason didn't show me a price. Let's try that again. Strange. 48 cents. We'll pull it. Thalicos Drifters and Exodus Rare is nothing big. So, but at some point, someone missed that this one was a rare symbol and failed to pull it out of here. Or it just never was worth anything, so they didn't care in the first place. So I don't know what the thinking was behind this stack. This, this stack of in this sack. All right, here we go with this batch. Oh, thumb screws. That's a good card. Let's check out the pirates real quick. Yeah, that was also good. And thumb screws from Tempest is oh, it's not as good as I thought. I knew it was a rare, but it's not one you really want. So I guess I better check all these Tempest cards. It's also a rare. Stark of Wrath, Energizer, is also a rare. Dark Banishing would not be. Um, right? Right. That one's a common. Cold Storage is a rare. And I know the Rootwater Matriarch is as well. But they're not big ones. It's okay. Some Urza Saga stuff, some commons here. Nope. Foreign stuff, can't even read it. And we're back to the plane shift. Alright, let's see, what else we got here? Alright, flip, flip, turn, flip. Touchstone from Weatherlight is nothing big. Neither is this stuff. Oh, 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 let's flip. That one's pretty beat up. Hey, now that's a great card. A null rod. Two null rods. Awesome. This is the kind of stuff I was hoping to get out of here. So that's pretty much the best card that you want out of Weatherlight. And guess what? There's two of them, right? Hey, they're the same price. 
So we'll pull that one there as a as a good pick, right? Well, the knowledge is going to be a good card as well, I believe. Yeah. So we got one, two of those. Awesome. Very cool. Steel Golem, I don't think is anything big. We already saw the touchstone. Royal Herbalist, no. So, yeah, this has been a good collection. So, there's a Hive from Revised. It is a rare. Oh, wrong edition. Let's see. This one isn't taken off for the old schoolers yet. Um, let's see, the fourth edition version is also a rare. I'm sure, we'll pull it. Throwing a bone, I don't remember. I don't think it is anything big. Uh, I thought it was some kind of promo. Um, right, it's an uncommon. So, my one viewer, shout out to the Leafster. Um, had mentioned that my Delver works really well against the white background. I think I'm probably going to have to switch to the black background. It does seem to um, see white border cards a little less, you know, properly as it does to the black border cards. So I will be switching that eventually. Dancing Scimitar from Revised. Let's change that edition. It's nothing big, but it is a rare. Uh, Rune Sword. Well, hey, there's a dark version of Rune Sword. So let's check that one. It's a rare from the dark, which means all these are rares too, right? We'll check them. Shifting Wall from Stronghold. I think it's just an uncommon. Yep. And we're not getting not getting any pricing here there we go let's actually fix this and oops moving on disintegrates nothing here's some else from the dark a war barge another rare great it's not a big one but it's there so I'll probably hang on to stuff like that, especially if it's like a reserve list card. And uh, see if it ever spikes. Unerring Sling, Elsewhere Flask, interesting. I'll just check that one. I don't think it's anything from Shadowmore now. Common. You never know. So Blue Mana Battery and a Basalt Monolith. All right, we'll check these. So. Fourth edition rare. Basalt Monolith from Revised. Switch. Slightly good. Uncommon. Pull that one. Amulet of Krug. Not a rare. Pongify. This is a good card. Should be like two bucks or so. A little better. Three bucks. Spears, let's check out this unerring sling. Nope, that's an uncommon. Vitalizing Cascade. Uncommon. Benthic Gin, I don't think is anything either. That is a rare. Pull a couple of those. Hey, a Ventifact model. Another one that was, you know, 30 cents forever and then it spiked up to. 20 bucks or something ridiculous and now it's on its way down and it's hovering in the four dollar range for some reason sky diamond this should be an uncommon yeah right yeah it's nothing big Taurus is wand gin haunting apparition no purgatory Yep, that's a rare. It's slightly better than bulk. A Book of Rass from the Dark, and it's got some stuff on it. That's no good. It is a rare, though. Well, I might have to try to fix that one up. 
Arkham's Whistle. Let's see, is it actually a rare from Ice Age? It's not. Now Aladdin's Ring is a rare. In fact, here's a 6th edition version of it that shows that it's rare. No, it's not a 4th edition. It's a revised edition. Really not a big deal. Ash Nods. Transmogrant. And it's a 5th edition. Just a common. There we go. Alright, we're moving right along here this is that was just half of that bag is all uh, hey here's a flying carpet so I highly doubt I would find anything really good from revise like a dual land get out of here um, but maybe we'll find something that got overlooked and is now oops I gotta fix this Detect, flying carpet, wrong edition, but I don't think it's worth anything. Magma mines an uncommon. I feel like my focus is way off, so I do apologize to anybody watching this. Yep, needle drops a little better. Just some commons and stuff that are nothing big. Arcbound Bruiser is nothing much, right? This bag was all over the place. You got a lot of older stuff in with some somewhat newer stuff. Spellbook, I think, is not quite up to. Yeah, it's just slightly over my total, so that would count. Tar fire should rate a little bigger. Oh, not quite. Pull it though. It's a buy lister. The visions card, lead belly ch chimera, chimera. Nothing big. A Juju Bubble. Got three of those. Nope. Those are not winners. Okay. Okay, let's kind of organize this stuff a little bit. Bear with me here, folks. Okay. A lycanthrope. <laughs> That's cute. I don't think it's anything. Yeah, it's a rare at least. I guess I gotta check all these visions cards now. Yeah. Now the Chronotog's okay. I don't think the Afrid is. Chronotog should be a few bucks just under a few bucks and over one buck Phyrexian Walker zero casting cost no it's a common oh but squandered resources now that's an okay card right there yeah 11 bucks for that sure that goes in the pile via Sheevan Dragon rare and we're not going to be anything shimmering a freak nope I think there's only a few a out there that are okay so there's another lycanthrope I don't know what this card is luckily Delver does it's a Tempest Drake. It's an uncommon. Hey, this is good. A Manamorphose should be about nine bucks right now. Yep, I'm 
almost 10. Not bad for a common. Thank you, Popper. Nope, nothing big in that stack. Oh, back to some revised stuff. Disrupting Scepter. Uh, the revised edition. It's a rare. I can't remember. Conservator. Not a rare. Bone Mask from Mirage. Is a rare. I think that's a reserve list as well. Crystal Rod, I don't think is. Well, it's not an alpha. Come on now. Yeah, it's just a revised uncommon. Braidwood Cup. You gain one life. Does not sound promising. Cursed Rack. Oh, uh, it's not an antiquities card. It's a fourth edition card, which makes it not all that great. Steel Artifact, and it's a 4th edition, it's an uncommon. Daring Apprentice, so you can counter a spell if you sacrifice it. It's a rare Mirage card. I don't know if, uh, it's probably not a reserve list. Glacial Wall, probably not, let's see some Mirage stuff again. Floodgate, let's check it. Nope. Dark Maze, no. I already forget, was Flying Carpet a rare? It is. But it's not a really good one. Dragon Mask, I don't think so either. Nope. Bronze Tablet, I think, is a rare. Nope. Well, at least the, uh, can you find it? It's trying to. Yeah, it is a rare. Not a good one. Quirion Elves. I don't think the Mirage one does anything for us. Nope. That's it. So far, two Null Rods is our best, which, hey, I will not turn that down. Alright, we'll stack here. Still got plenty more to go through. Necrotal, I think, is actually an uncommon. Yep. Tin Wing Chimera, I don't think is anything. Let's skip through a lot of this common stuff. Nope. Nope, there's a bunch in a row that was just commons. Betrayal. I don't think. Oh, an anvil of Bogarden. Taken off lately. Yeah. That hovered around 10, 12 bucks for a long time, and now all of a sudden it's hot. Here, I'll put it down here in the hot pile. I got this betrayal. I don't think it's going to be anything. Yeah. And I don't know what this is, so we'll look. It's a vanishing, and it's going to vanish over here and not be looked at again. All right, we got a few more stacks of this. I got to get through this and finish this video up. Pygmy Hippo, I think, is a rare. Yeah, it's an okay rare. Essence Vortex. Now I got to check every one of these. Nope. Warping Worm it is a rare. We'll pull it. All right. Maybe I don't have to uh, check every one of these. Unfulfilled Desires should rate. Yeah, it rates. Skeleton Ship should rate. It does. Sprout Swarm. Is it seeing any increase because of saprolings? It seems like it actually is. 
Should I pull it? Why not? Tortured Existence is another one that I always look out for because it's a common card that rates a little better. Must be a popper staple, right? And if you see anything I missed, feel free to tell me about it down below in the comment section. And also subscribe. If you made it this far and you were, you know, okay with me rambling on you probably should have subscribed by now just saying boy a bunch of birds all in a row a bunch of squids some snids now see snid fairy squadron I'm gonna look I think that's one that fools me every time yep I don't know why. There's some of the car that I must be thinking of when I do that. It's not that one. Okay, next. Another foreign visions card that I don't know what it is. It's a Mystic Veil. Nothing big. here we can just skip right through all right what else we got here some skippables pit maze now these are commons that are not going to be anything great Needle drop, that's a good one. Keep that one. And back to some Mirage stuff. There's another Vent Effect bottle. We saw that was four bucks. Magma Mine from Visions. I think we checked this one and it was nothing, right? Imagine a Thirst is going to be nothing as well. I was right. And there's another one. Probably not this. Goblin Liar, I believe, is a rare from Ice Age. Infinite Hourglass, we'll check that one. Also a rare. Gauntlets of Chaos from Chronicles. It's a rare. Not a good one. Medicine Bag, I don't think so. Bottle of Suleiman's, a couple of these. Rares. Let's see if the revised edition one is better. No, but thinks it's fourth edition. Revised is still in the same category. Nothing big. Cormus Bell. Revised edition Cormus Bell. It's not an alpha. Uh, it's oh, that one hasn't taken off. So it's only forty-four cents. Check this Jade Monolith. <laughs> Again, not an alpha. Yep, much less. I guess these are all rares. I think the Jandor's Saddlebags is a rare as well. Helm of Chatsuk. Not a fourth edition. It's a revised. Hasn't taken off. And it may never. Uh, let's see here. The Iron Stars. I don't think that's a rare. I think it's an uncommon. Yeah, it's not that edition either yet. Uncommon. Nothing big. We'll put it over here. Ebony Horse. Ivory Cup. Let's check the Ivory Cup. Okay. Yep. Yeah, gonna have to get that dark background. To see if I can get it to recognize a little better. And back to some plane shift stuff and back to some vision stuff. Shrieking Drake. Not a rare. Interesting sack of cards here. Marjan. 
Guess that one was recently and it was a rare. Yep, Homeland's rare. We'll pull it because you never know. All right, we are coming down to the last of this stack. I'm going to do this stack and this stack. And that's it for that bag. So let's see what's in the last of it here. Wish me luck. Oh, we got Storm Crows. We don't need luck. I didn't find anything like a ponder out of those lore winds at all in this bag, so had those been picked at some point. Green mana, mana battery, is it technically a rare? It is, so we'll pull that one. Needle drop again, that's good. Might have been it for the goods here. Sea snids again. That's interesting. Pendrel Drake now. Silver Wyvern from Stronghold. It's a rare. And I already forget the Shrieking Drake, was it? That one is not a rare. Mist form sliver. Probably nothing, but it is a sliver. So I always pull those. Manta rays or nothing. Urtai is familiar. I don't think that's a big one either. It is a rare. They all add up, them rares. Lightning bolt. That's a good one. Yep. Recognize it as fourth edition and it's a two ninety nine. It's got a little play to it. Alright, last little stack for this bag. Hey a goblin hero from the dark. Let's see, I think that's that's a common. But it's from the dark. I'll pull it. Terramorphic expanse, I think these are okay. Oh, they're not okay. What am I thinking of? Different card, obviously. And this looks like it's going to be it for the goods. All right, so we found a couple of null rods and an anvil. And uh, I can't complain about that. Oh, yeah, we found foil bird of paradise and some other stuff earlier. So thanks for checking it out. Uh, make sure to subscribe and sound off down below. Thank you.